Hey, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. I want to do a quick recap of a BABA options short trade I did on Thursday. Um, Thursday, the market gap down, and if you've watched any of the prior videos, um, I do talk about uh, gap size and to look at uh, what the price action is to close the gap on the regular trading hours. And you'll see here on Thursday, uh, BABA opened up with a gap down, as did the indexes. And after an, hours of pri an hour of price action till about 10.30, really didn't make any significant uh, move to close the gap on either the indexes or any of the stocks. And I noticed that on my watch list that I have, uh, BABA is one of the uh, stocks that I do trade during the day and look for opportunities. In this particular case, we did get a short signal here using the black box breakout indicator and I decided to take an option trade. Now for me, um, on this particular day, unfortunately I had a uh, contractor come into my house to do some work at 11 and he showed up early and I did get a little bit of this push down, but of course Baba made significant push as did the indexes uh, through most of the day uh, up until let's say about noontime. They made a pretty significant push and then just kind of worked its way out of it uh, for a relatively small recovery and uh, close flattish through most of the day. But I want to show here that you can trade uh, options on more liquid stocks like BABA that typically has uh, several thousand sh uh, contracts of open interest that you can trade. So this particular signal here, you'll see the signal entry is at about 168.91. Um, what I did was I looked at the Friday expiration options and traded uh, one strike in the money. So this would be a 170 put option uh, that I bought at the um, trigger in through this trade here. And I'm going to run, so that's the, uh, the BABA entry. And I'm going to run to the option trade and show that I did buy a 10 lot here uh, for $1.99, uh, which is $2,000 worth of risk. Uh, on this trade um, and as I said I had a contractor that came in uh, showed up actually a little bit early so I ended up having a jump and close the trade so I wasn't able to manage it and I was able to get 50 cents out of that trade or 500 bucks on a 10 lot but of course uh, with the continued significant push in BABA and never really breaking uh, any of these uh, moving averages that I have here this is showing the 170 put option on the Friday expiration uh, 190208 is the February 8th, uh, 2019, 170 put. Um, that's the code here up at the left for Thinkorswim. So this is the uh, price action of the option that I traded. Uh, Enter the 10 lot here, had to close it uh, due to my contractor being at the house early. But uh, those that were in the trade and were able to manage either BABA for a several hundred percent win on the stock or a 300% win uh, on the options uh, with the peak at about 590 so that's almost from a $2 option to a $6 close would be 300% uh, uh, times risk if you risk the whole $1.99. Now I typically would look to, in a short term option trade that I'm day trading, uh, give back no more than 50% so my stop loss in this would have been probably in the area of around a dollar uh, should the price action have taken this option from a dollar ninety nine entry to a dollar. I probably would have closed it, uh, depending on what was going on and the indexes and the other things during the day. Uh, but in any event, this is a great trade for Baba, showing that we can trade options on highly liquid options that have relatively tight spreads. This dollar ninety nine option, I think the spreads was uh, like five or six cents. Not perfect. Um, I prefer penny, two penny spreads, of course on day trade so I don't give too much up in slippage but uh, this trade worked out really well even for a very short term trade for me or those that uh, stayed in it for quite a bit longer time uh, would have had a great great trade in that one. In any event hope that helps and uh, take care folks. Happy trading next week.